float like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be. In living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete? And all mankind danced to the exact beat. And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. <laughs> Yours or what's yours is mine. In living color. And how would you feel knowing everybody was your friend? From thin to thicker, through thicker, thin. And egotistical trips was put to an end. In living color. The moon float like a balloon. You see, it's never too late and it's never too soon. Take it from me, it's I right to be in living color. And how would you feel knowing prejudice was obsolete and all mankind danced to the exact beat? And at night it was safe to walk down the street. In living color. Well, I'm Keenan Ivan Waynes, and this is In Living Color. You know, uh, I just want to ask you guys something. Um, Mike Tyson invited me to come, like, check out his fight. Y'all think it's a setup? <laughs> I think I'd tell the world, so if anything happens, you guys know what's up, okay? <laughs> You're watching my back. Before we get started, say hello to my DJ SW1. My fly girl starting over here with Carrie, Deidre, Carrie Ann, yeah. Michelle, and Lisa. <laughs> All right, give us a few seconds. We'll be back. Sit tight. Hit it. Are you bored? Nothing to do? Is your family quality time like family nap time? Well, wake up! It's time for fun with the Michael Jackson Potato Head Kit. That's right. Capture the many faces of Michael Jackson with the Michael Jackson Potato Head Kit. 400 molded plastic facial features allow kids to reconstruct Michael's ever-changing face after every single one of his plastic surgery operations. I made my Michael Jackson potato head look like he looked when he was with the Jackson 5 with a strong Afro-American nose and a big fro. I made my Michael potato head into the Michael of April 1986, right before his third nose job, but after his extensive cheekbone reconstruction and the cleft added to his chin. Now, keeping the April 1986 face as it is, replace the hair with hair piece number 139-D, and look who you've just made. It's Michael Jackson's own idol, Diana Ross. Now... Just add mole number 5-D, and you've made Michael's fabulous sister, Janet. Take away the nose completely, and you've just made LaToya. Look, everybody, I make Michael look just like he looked on the front of his bad album. That's great, son. But you know, something's just not quite right. I know. That's right. With just an ordinary kitchen vegetable peeler, you can simulate Michael's chemical face peel and dermabrasion scrubs. The only limits are your family's imagination. There is no end to the Maxio Facillary fun. The Michael Jackson Potato Head Kit from Dimco. Mashed potato liposuction accessories sold separately. He's a lover. He's a fighter. He's Keenan and Damon's brother. You've seen him spin records on In Living Color. Now see him fight crime in his screen debut. The Wayans Company, in association with Tiger Beat Magazine, is proud to present 
SW1 in Disc Jockey, Death Jockey. Coming soon to a theater near you. We'll be there. <laughs> the ambiguity that I feel never justifies itself. There's always the pungent odor of life's constipation that surreptitiously conflicts with the detrimental instability hitherto for six eight who do we appreciate the unification of congress excuse me condoms demystifying the squalor of profanity regurgitating over and over again here let me digress my bowels for a minute and right to the front the Nondescript hernia rectifies the miscommunication of fetal or fecal, depending on where your head is at. Reading is fundamental. So let's write. Do not be persecuted by the pompous fedora balanced by the equilibrium fortified by the government's inability to eradicate or foreshadow, taken from the Hebrew word for skin. Understand what you read. He doesn't. <laughs> Paid for by the President's Council on Literacy. Now, Edna Louise, I want you to sit down and I want you to write an apology letter to Mr. Ferguson. Pulling off the principal's hairpiece was not very nice. Yeah, but it sure was funny. What did you say? I said, sure, honey. Don't be a smarty pants. And as for you, Parnell, there'll be no talking from you. You're in enough trouble as it is. <laughs> you are not here not to lose me. Hey, it's your fault I'm in here, Edna. How did you do that? You're, you're the one who gave Mrs. Keegan my tucker bar in the first place. You should have told me it was a laxative. <laughs> Pucus Maximus. You snooze, you lose. Blow it out your hiney horn. Go on. Dear Mr. Ferguson, I am so sorry that you are bald headed and trying to hide it with that ugly wig that doesn't fool anybody. And I, I am also very sorry that you are fat and ugly and there's nobody likes you, not even your wife, because your breath smells like roadkill. Uh, I hope you will accept my apology and the Louise. Here, I think you'll like it. Hey, we're not supposed to be talking, Barfasaurus. I do not wish to be trapped in your web of intrigue. Dance with the dead. Dance with the dead. Dance with the dead. That Dance skeleton the dead. is an example of biological petrification and is to be used for scientific purposes only. Oh, yeah? Well, I think it looks like your mom. Does not. Does you. Hey, Mrs. Parnell, you look like you lost some weight. You and that butthead seem to have the same bone structure. Would you like to dance over here? Uh-oh. Hey, Parnell! Way to go! <laughs> Parnell, 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 I'm not Parnell. Like this. Yes, you are. I am not. Are so. I am not. Are so. I am not. Stop. You better, I better stop. stop. I hate hey, you. What are you... <laughs> I swear to... Mrs. Tiffany! Hey, now! That's my impression of you! I can't do that! Mrs. Tiffany! Shut up! Your teeth don't look like that! It's a frog. You don't even know what kind. Oh, die. You too? It's a dead frog. It's a South American speckled weeper. Thank you very much, oh, miss. Now, you are so smart. I can't believe it. Yeah? You know what, Parnell? I heard that. I heard that if you, um, if you hold your hand up to your face and, and your hand is bigger, that means you're super intelligent. So, that must mean I'm really a genius. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Nice. <laughs>
Very quietly, Parnell is having problems. Yes. He's you know something else, Mrs. Keegan? Attention. I think I better stay home from school tomorrow Snot. because I've been through a terrible Snot. trauma. Snot. Snot. Welcome to Uncle Joe's Fairy Tales and Barbecue Recipes. Once upon a time, in a land not so far away, there lived a gal named Rapunzel. She was pretty. I mean, she was fine. But her daddy didn't want any of the young men to mess with her. <laughs> you know what I mean. So he built this tall castle so that nobody could get to her. <laughs> Rapunzel! Rapunzel! There is no maiden fairer than thee. On first I fell in love with thee, poor my fair maiden, and let me prove thyself to thou. If only I was a bird and could fly up to thee, but that my heart could soar on wings of love for thee, fair maiden, Rapunzel. I ain't understood a word you said. Rapunzel don't live here no more. She got evicted. Now, my name is Betwinda Malika Hightower Jr., and I'm on the cusp of Virgo. So why don't you just come on up here and bust that rescue move? <laughs> well, look here, baby. Uh, throw down those curly locks, and I'll climb on up, and we'll get busy. <laughs> everybody. I'm Hubert. No, I'm, I'm Fred. Am I Ron O'Neill? Don Cornelius. Don Cornelius. And my guests today come all the way from Ethiopia. England. England. Ethiopia, England. But before we get to that, let's get to this. A group. Tell them the name of the group. Fine One Carnival. Fine young cannibals. That's right, fine young cannibals. But before we get to that, let's get to a groove that's sure enough gonna make you wanna boogie while you woogie boogie. On the dance floor. On the dance floor, my main man, Fat G. That's heavy D. And the boys. <laughs> And right now, I'd like you to meet two members of my family. Old trained dancers. Yes, two of the old trained dancers. And you are a young man. Methuselah. And you? Jane Pittman. As you both know, you have 20 seconds to correctly unscramble the name of a very famous talking horse. 
And I'll give you a hint, it's not Lionel Richie. And while they do that, we'll do this. Yes, and you are? Yes, and you? Oh, yes, yes. You all must be very, very proud of your success. Well, we first started out. Will you come back and do another song for us? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fine One Mammal. Yes, that's all the time we have for Boogie in today. And I'm Don Corleone. And as usual, it's always in parting that we wish you love, peace, and... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Roger Spitman for the Wild World of Sports. And welcome to the final round of the 10th Annual Sweethearts Bodybuilding Competition here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. It's the greased up pose portion of the show. The action has been pretty fierce here. And here comes our first competitor. She's Sarah Sunkiss from Salamander, California. <laughs> This is her first finals. Not a lot of muscle mass and still quite feminine. And quite frankly, I don't like that, and neither do the judges. She's gonna have a tough time here today. Next is Carla Meals. She's five foot seven, 140 pounds from Beaverton, Wisconsin. Pretty good definition. But she's having trouble getting rid of those darn breasts. And that's gonna come against her. I mean, look at them. They just won't go away. Finally, the competitor everyone's been waiting to see. You can feel the anticipation. Oh boy. Oh boy. She's the only woman on the circuit who goes to the bathroom standing up. Oh, yeah. She is working it tonight. She is in top. Oh, oh, but there, there she goes. Showing her feminine side with the perfect obstetric push. It's her ode to the mystery of motherhood. Oh, baby. She is hard as a rock. like that can there be any doubt no. ladies and gentlemen the judges have come to a decision and the winner is miss vera de milo <laughs> congratulations
Congratulations on a great victory for you, princess. Now, the reports are that you have used steroids. Uh, do you care to comment on that, little lady? Yes, I would, Roger. I don't know who's starting those rumors, but I do know that there are a lot of jealous people out there who aren't willing to do the work it takes to look like this. Let's face it, women see me, they want to be me. Well said. Well said. Could you just tell me one more thing then, Vera? Sure. I gotta ask you this. Uh, what is that bulge in front of your trousers? Well, now, a girl's gotta have her little secrets. <laughs> That's where I keep my chewing tobacco. And I can see that you still have that wonderfully feminine sense of humor. Oh, this is my boyfriend and trainer, Bart. And what a lucky man. Oh, baby. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, oh.